<laughs> Look at that cute baby Bella. And look at that. You little stinker. Happy Sunday, everyone. I am just preparing a green salad with the rest of the head of lettuce I have, which isn't a lot. And I'm going to take it to my parents' house. We're having spaghetti and salad for dinner. And Daryl's in the shower. It's 3 o'clock, so we'll be leaving in about 20 minutes to a half hour. I have my ranch. I need to buy some ranch and just leave it down there. And some carrots and celery. And my yellow lettuce because that's all there was left was like the inside core of the salad of the head. <laughs> oh well, it'll still be good. Okay, I'm going to start crocheting. I just noticed this mistake. That bugs, but there's no way I can take it out. But that bugs me. Look at that. Totally obvious. everybody it's Monday Monday Mondays are kind of poo days so I am in my bathroom and I am just putting together some stuff because I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me so first things first I have to clean out this it's full of hair and whatnot you know you want to better look at it <laughs> So I'm going to clean it out. So today I'm going to try this um, eyeshadow that my mom gave me, the Josie Moran. It's the coconut water eye color. So this is kind of gold. It says it's rose gold, Rio de Rose Gold, but it's pretty much gold. I wish it had a little bit more pink in it, but that's all right. I thought about doing the bronze, but I'm not in the mood for a brown eye today. <laughs> a brown eye. I'm more in the mood for a golden eye. All right, I'm all packed and ready to go. And this is just for my eyes and blush. <gasps> oh my gosh. But what can we say, right girls? We just have to do what we have to do, especially when you get to be my age. I'm done with my get ready with me. I just barely finished and this is what it looks like when I'm done. So yeah, I used this. It's not really rose gold, but it's doable. And here's the swatch on my hand. This will never come off. It's on there forever, but it's good stuff. Good stuff. So here's my setup. <laughs> A box. 
there's the window, there's my desk, an empty box, but this is like the perfect box. So anyway, putting all my stuff away. Oh, my friend Nikki across the pond will appreciate this. I love Scrooty Politty. Totally takes me back to the 80s. Daryl calls him Scrotum Pelotum. You gotta love it. So I washed my hands and that Josie Moran shadow comes off with soap and water. It was starting to transfer on the inside of my sleeve and so I washed my hand and it came right off. We're about to go to the store. Um, I made a list but it's just little and I don't know if I need anything. I mean I really, I just need a couple things including prescriptions but I don't know if I really need it much of anything else. <laughs> Daryl, when we bought this at the Dollar Tree the other day, I was like, I have to open it right now. And he's all, it's not even cold because I just picked it up off the shelf. I'm like, it doesn't matter. I need to have a swig of Pepsi because I was just craving it. So I'm in the car and I just open it up and I just start chugging it. And Daryl starts laughing because it looked like I was some... Pepsi addict, you know, getting in the car and hurrying up and getting a swig. It was hilarious. It looked, it felt like, it kind of looked like when you watch Intervention, how people, the minute they get in the car, they open things up. That's exactly what I looked like. But I need my fix. Mmm. Feel the burn. So not only are we going to go to the store, but we're also going to go to the Dollar Tree because I want to see if I can find any more gummy bears. The big one pounder. I just finished getting my prescriptions at the store and I decided I didn't want to buy any groceries because I don't really need anything and I didn't want to have to lug them around. So I'm at the Walmart. Okay, I totally want these. They're only 99, 98 cents each, but they only have three and I need four. I just wanted to put them on my fireplace hooks. These are cute, but totally not worth $10 at Walmart. These are cool. I totally want one of these. Check this out. A collapsible ottoman. It's only this big. And then it just collapses. That is cool. 18 bucks. Hey, hey, what do you say? I made it through the door. I am home, it is 3.54, I want to hurry so I can see what Dr. Phil is all about and he'll be on in six minutes. Um, Dollar Tree had my gummy bears, so I bought four bags, yes I did, I bought four bags, but you gotta remember, it's not just me eating these, Daryl eats them too. Um, so this will probably last like two weeks, these four bags of gummy bears. It's disgusting, I know. I love these things. I just do. And you cannot beat a dollar for a pound of them. You just can't. So anyway, I got four bags of those. And the other day I went to Dollar Tree and I bought a little four pack of these little sponges and they were way flimsy. Like, what? you can't even feel them in your hand when you get them wet. So they're terrible. Um, so I saw these and I figured these must be the ones. So I grabbed them. And let's see here. I also grabbed another one of these for my beads, just in the hardware section. And let's see. And then at Walmart, I saw this new shampoo from Garnier and it smells so good. 
It's the apple extract and ceramide. It smells so good. I basically got it for the smell. It has that apple smell and it also has a ceramide smell. <laughs> I don't know what ceramide smells like, but this doesn't have like, you know, like suave apple shampoo. That smells really nice. This is different. This smells, I don't know. It's just different and it's nice. And so I bought it. It's just refreshing and delightful. And I just, I'm so excited to take a shower tonight and use this. I would have liked a smaller bottle, but they didn't have the smaller ones in this particular scent. So these were 480 something at Walmart. So I got the shampoo and conditioner. I'm so excited, but I needed some shampoo and conditioner. So I'm glad I found these and it's nice to have a new scent, you know? And then for 98 cents, you guys, 98 cents, I got this ivory, body scrub, body, you know, body wash. Oh, it smells so good. It's just a nice, fresh, light, clean smell. And it's just the right size so that when I get tired of it, I can quickly use it up and get something else. But it does, it just smells clean and simple. I just love it, so. Mm. It's really nice. 98 cents. I'm pretty sure it was 98 cents. 97 cents. Hello. So, yeah, that made me happy to buy these three things to use tonight. It'll just make showering so much fun. And then I got Pepto Bismol because I am totally out and the other day I needed it and I didn't have it. So you always have to have this in your cupboard because if you ever get nauseated or sick to your stomach or get diarrhea, cramping or whatever, I swear by this stuff, I love it. And you know, two times strength per dose, hello. If it says two times strength, I'm getting it. I just, this is good stuff. And you guys, do you know how to store this after you open it? I just always kept it in the cupboard after I've opened it. Am I supposed to put it in the fridge or just leave it in the cupboard? I don't ever know. And it doesn't say, it's never said what to do. And so I've always just kept it in the cupboard and it's never gone bad or anything. But I just never know what to do since it's a liquid. So if you guys know what to do, Please let me know, guy. Ow, my foot. And then, you know, I had to get the beads. You know I had to get the beads. So, um, I got some more of these turquoise ones, but these are lighter. You can't tell, but they have the darker turquoise ones that are just a just a shade, just a teeny tiny bit darker than these. And since these are lighter, I had to get them. They're so cute. I know, I'm a, I'm a bead whore, I know. I got another one of these white ones just because, and I like these ones because, well I guess these are the same way. But I just like how they're all different sizes in there, you know. They look really cute on a string. They're just kind of bumpy. I like them. And then I saw these little tube bugle beads, bugle beads. They're clear. They're so cute. They're super cute. And then you guys, I got these in the mail today from a super sweet subscriber. She emailed me and told me they were coming and she insisted that I don't give her any credit or say her name. She doesn't want anything in return. But, and so I'll respect that, but I just have to let you all see what she gave me. I mean, I won't say her name, but I just appreciate these so much. She found them at the Dollar Tree, and I have not, I've only been able to find the pink and green at my Dollar Tree. And she sent me three packs, four packs 
of these lavender purple ones and they've got look they've even got um, matte beads and they're kind of a plum color they're just so cool and she gave me four of those and then these two of these white and gray and silver and bluish greenish they're so cool and I put I turned on my light so you could see them sparkle and then a pack of the cute little pink ones so you know who you are and thank you so so much I appreciate these so much and I'm excited to have them and I know you said to just not fuss over them but I have to fuss over them because you sent me these and I appreciate them so much and I thank you so thank you so 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 much so Dr. Phil is dumb stinker have you been waiting for closet time all day huh welcome to closet time everybody it's an early closet time it's just about seven o'clock Daryl just got home from work and we're not well I'm kind of hungry but he wasn't hungry so I'm not gonna cook dinner what else is new but he had one of those five dollar boxes from Taco Bell and he said he couldn't even finish it all. You get like a little thing of chips and cheese and you get a taco and a burrito supreme and some other thing. A gordita or chalupa or whatnot. And he couldn't even finish it and he's like really full. So that's fine with me because I didn't know what to cook. And I just feel like kind of maybe having chicken soup or like a cup of soup or something. I don't know. So I'm just going to, after this, I'm going to hop in the shower and then get something to eat. So I finally get my hair done next week. <laughs> she couldn't fit me until then, but I can't wait. I'm going to keep the length, but just have more layers in it so I'm not so flat and lame and caca poo poo. Um... Yeah, I didn't. I vlogged yesterday, but my my day was so there was nothing going on. So there was only like two or three minutes worth of footage. <laughs> so I'm like, eh. Instead of deleting it, I'll just go ahead and put it in with today's vlog. So, and then when I was at the Dollar Tree today, holy cow, there is this lady there and she had I don't know, four kids running around and like the oldest one she it was a girl and she was probably eight and then she had her brothers and they all went down from there in age. They were running like running all over the place in the Dollar Tree and needless to say I was like in the middle of it all. Oh my gosh. And they were like screaming and <laughs> And then at one point I'm standing in this aisle and you know, there's these big boxes in the aisle because they're in the middle of stocking shelves. What do you want? And so I'm stuck between these boxes and the aisle itself and then this little kid, I don't know, maybe he's five or six, he comes running at me. Like, he's going to stampede me, and he's got a plunger in his hand. And I look over, and he's all, It's plunger time! <laughs> and I was like, Holy... I just wanted to get the heck out of there. I've never had anybody run at me with a plunger before. <laughs> I, I was like, oh my gosh, I always pick the days to go to the Dollar Tree when 
the moms are there and they unleash their beasts and they all just come at me. Oh my heck. It was hilarious actually. Oh, so then I'm at the checkout stand and I'm checking out and the checkout line in front of me, there were these kids from school. They got out of school and they were high school students, but they were probably like 15, 16 years old. And they were buying waffles and a bunch of stuff. And then they were going to buy a can of whipped cream, you know, the can. And the guy, you know, the cashier was like, are you 18? Are any of you 18? And they're like, no. And, you know, and the kids were like, no, you know, they were kind of nervous. And the cashier was like, well, I can't sell this to you. You have to be 18 or older. And at the time, I didn't know what they were trying to buy. And so I asked my cashier, what do you have to be 18 or older to buy? And he's like, oh, yeah, you can't. We have to ask for ID if we're going to sell whipped cream in a can. I'm like, what? So apparently people are getting high off of whipped cream in a can and there's some chemical in there you know that forces the air out or whatever and there's a place that kids can go to get this one device that you hook up to the can and you can get high off I'm like are you kidding me I am just so far out of the loop and I watch intervention on TV and I've never seen that I've seen people get high off of cans of dust spray like huffing it <laughs> but I've never heard of anybody getting high off a can of whipped cream well <laughs> I could probably get high off a can of whipped cream but it'd be high a good high from eating it all <sighs> not snorting it or huffing it it'd be from eating it but yeah I am just I'm getting old I'm just out of out of the loop so that was my Dollar Tree ex experience today. Plungers and learning about getting high off of whipped cream. Anyway, I'm going to go because this video is awfully long. I'm going to have to um, edit some stuff out because seriously, I just do this. I just vlog from my cell phone because I'm not advanced in my mind to use a camera, upload it to the computer, and then edit it off of the computer. Blah, 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 blah. I just It's just easier for me to upload it from my phone. But if I do anything over 30 minutes or over, my phone can't handle it. It won't upload. It just won't. It just, it just sits there and calculates, and it won't upload. So I have to try to keep it under 30 minutes. <laughs> Sorry! So I'm going to have to um, edit stuff out to make it shorter. So anyway, I'm going to go. But I hope you had a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. I have no clue what I'm doing, but we'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice sleep, everybody. Bye. It's plunger time. <laughs> and I was like, holy...